Friday is a first alert weather day. What we are watching for is again those heat indices that are going to be up another five to 10 degrees from where they are at this afternoon. We're going to be dancing around the lower 100s for that feel like temperature for tomorrow afternoon and during the morning we're going to have a cluster some showers and thunderstorms those will likely not be severe but where we do have some of those showers and thunderstorms showing up uh, during the morning hours that's going to give way to some lightning as well as the potential for some heavier pockets of downpours and then as the evening rolls around we're going to be watching a cold front that's going to begin to roll through Michiana for the second half of the day mainly after 8 p.m. and that's where we'll have to watch out for a few damaging wind gusts and just like yesterday not everyone will see severe weather but one or two storms, so that's all it takes to create some damage. So what are we looking at on the feature track here during the morning hours? This is between 6 and 10 a.m. We'll have a few clusters of some scattered showers and storms. Again, likely non-severe, but they will provide with it. Uh, again, lightning as well as some very heavy downpours. And once this rain moves out, that's going to give way to a very steamy morning. And then going forward into the second half of today, the day on Friday, mainly after 8 p.m., that's where we're going to have to watch out for a cold front that will eventually move through Michiana. That's going to give way to hit and miss scattered showers and thunderstorms. And again, we're going to have to watch out for some damaging wind potential as well, where some wind gust could be in excess of 60 miles an hour. And this front is already just off to our west between the Twin Cities down towards Iowa City. That's where, again, there's a cluster of showers and thunderstorms. And we're going to be watching 16 Doppler Max very closely this evening as what forms here will be trying to head towards Michiana towards daybreak Friday morning. And regarding our rain chance for tomorrow, the highest percentages will come with that cold front late in the day, and they'll slowly start to step down those rain chances as we go throughout this upcoming weekend. So the main thing we're watching for Friday evening and overnight to Friday is going again going to be the potential here for a few damaging wind gusts and where we have those showers and thunderstorms rolling on through. There's a lot of moisture out there, and that's going to lead to a lot of heavy pockets of downpours where, again, those showers and thunderstorm clusters do decide to set up for the second half of Friday. Going hour by hour, the future track run to stay completely quiet as far as the rain is concerned for tonight. By daybreak tomorrow morning, here we are paused at 7 a.m. That is how we get that cluster of showers and thunderstorms. Again, likely not severe, but they will be loud and producing some heavier rainfall where they do decide to set up here across Michiana. We'll likely get a big break during the afternoon hours. Here we are paused at 4 p.m. Notice how we crank up that mercury up to about 95, 96 degrees for the actual air temperature, and it will tack on another 5 to 10 degrees for what it'll feel like in the direct sunlight. That feel like temperature getting up to around 105 to even 110 across some locations in the Michiana. And then as we go into the evening hours, mainly past 8 p.m., Notice how we get the front moving on through. That'll lead way to, again, a cluster of showers and thunderstorms. A few of those will be on the strong to severe side. It's not going to be an outbreak as far as severe weather is concerned, but we are going to have to watch out for maybe two, maybe three severe thunderstorm warnings for damaging wind, lightning, as well as some heavier rainfall. And the good news, though, is once this moves on through Michiana, we'll start to trend cooler as we head on into the weekend. We'll take a look at that first alert 10-day forecast when 16 News Now Live at 5 continues after the break.